Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Nails one more time and let's compare between fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins. This is a video in our series called Biochemistry. Please watch these videos in order. Now let's get started. First, you have to understand the difference between polar and non-polar. Polar means it's water soluble. Water and oil hate each other. Water is polar, oil is non-polar. Anything that's water soluble is called to be hydrophilic. If it's water insoluble, it's called hydrophobic. Oil is non-polar, as you know. In order for you to be able to float freely in the blood and therefore get filtered in the renal glomerulus, you have to be water soluble. That's why water soluble vitamins, you can see them in the urine. They get lost of the, in the urine all the time. But if you are fat soluble vitamin, it means we cannot leave you to float freely in the blood because the blood is made of water. Plasma is literally water with some additives. But you are lipid and lipid cannot mix with the water. So we have to carry you on something called plasma protein such as albumin or globulin. Now you are carried on the plasma protein. If you are carried on the plasma protein, something fascinating is going to happen. You cannot pass through the kidney tubule. It's not going to happen because you are too big to be filtered through capillaries. Now let's compare between water soluble vitamins and fat soluble vitamins. Water soluble vitamins, they are water soluble, therefore the excess is excreted in the urine. Makes sense. But the fat soluble vitamins are not excreted in the urine. Storage, not stored because they are lost in the urine all day. Except Vitamin B9, which is folate, the liver can store it for three to four months. Or vitamin B12 or cobalamin, the liver can store it for three to four years, which is amazing. Fat soluble vitamins, they're called fat soluble vitamins, they are stored in the fat all day long. Deficiency of water soluble vitamin is more likely because they get lost in the urine all day long. But it's less likely for the fat soluble vitamins because they are stored in the fat. If deficiency is more likely, therefore toxicity is less likely. It's called common sense, two sides of the same coin. If deficiency is less likely, toxicity is more likely, especially vitamin A toxicity, very common, and it's very bad for pregnancy. Vitamin A is teratogenic. That's why if you have some acne and you went to the dermatologist to get some vitamin A lotion, which is topical, the dermatologist will never prescribe it to you before you get a pregnancy test that's negative. And you promise and you sign the paperwork saying that you will use at least two birth control methods. This is serious stuff. Let's talk about absorption. If you are water soluble, it's very easy to absorb. You do not need any GIT or pancreatic enzymes. But for fat soluble vitamins, they depend on GIT and pancreatic enzymes such as lipase. Malabsorption syndrome is not going to affect the water soluble vitamins because they didn't depend on the pancreas to begin with. But for fat soluble vitamins, you will suffer from decreased absorption and vitamin deficiency if you have a malabsorption syndrome such as celiac disease, pancreatic insufficiency, or A beta lipoproteinemia. Examples of water soluble vitamins B, C. B and C. There are eight subclasses of vitamin B. We have B1, we have B2, we have B3, we have B5, we have B6, we have B7, we have B9, and we have B12. B9 is the same as folate. Fat soluble vitamins are KEDA. K E D A. Let's talk about them in brief. B, we cannot talk about it in brief because there are eight subtypes. Let's talk about C. C is important for collagen. So here is vitamin C is for collagen. Let's talk about vitamin K. Vitamin K is important for coagulation, especially factors 2, 7, 9, and 10, protein C, and protein S. And the process is called gamma carboxylation. Thanks to the famous enzyme gamma glutamyl carboxylase. Vitamin E is antioxidant. Vitamin D is good for your bone. If you have deficiency of vitamin D, you can get rickets if you're a kid or osteomalacia if you're old. Vitamin A is for your vision, especially your retina. 
So does that mean if I am eating enough vitamin A, I do not need to wear sunglasses? Shut up. Vitamin A may be perfect, protective for your retina, but you wear sunglasses for your retina and for your lens. That's why most people, as they get older, they need cataract surgery because of that UV light that they have been exposed to throughout their entire life. Now let's talk about fat absorption and therefore absorption of the fat soluble vitamins. You eat some fat such as the double cheeseburger. It has a layer of cheese on the top and a layer of cheese on the bottom. That's why we call it a double cheeseburger. By the way, here's a quick question for you food experts. Do we call it double cheeseburger because it has two layers of cheese or two layers of meat? Uh, please let me know in the comments below because I'm hungry right now. Next, fat soluble, okay, this is some fat and fat contains triglyceride. This triglyceride is moving through the gut, but thanks to pancreatic lipase, it's going to break down this triglyceride into monoglycerides and free fatty acids. These free fatty acids are going to be packaged, not in mortgage-backed securities, but into myocils. So we have the fatty acid, the monoglycerides, the K, E, D, and A, which are the fat-soluble vitamins, and some cholesterol esters. You package them together. This package is called a myocele. Next, they will move through the villi. They are trying to get absorbed into your blood, but here are the villi in your intestine. These villi are going to resynthesize the triglyceride and then package them not in myocels, but it's going to package them into chylomicrons this time. And I've talked about this topic briefly when we have discussed lymph. I have a YouTube video called Lymph, and I'm talking about the lymph structure, what's the difference between lymph and chyle, chylothorax, etc. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and join the tribe. Hit the bell to get notified. Please save this playlist called Biochemistry. You can follow me on all of these platforms. You can go to my website, www.medicosisperfectionist.com. I have cases, I have mnemonics, I have lots of goodies and courses and one-on-one -on -one mentorship classes. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.